While soldiers and civilians have provided medical support to the Army since the American Revolution, the Medical Service Corps was formally established in 1947, evolving from its roots in the World War I Sanitary Corps, the Medical Administrative Corps, and World War II's Pharmacy Corps. Today, the Medical Service Corps is a key component of the Army Medical Department. As the Army's most diverse branch, the Medical Service Corps has 29 unique specialties, ranging from clinical providers to scientists to healthcare administrators, which support every Army Medical Department effort at home and abroad. In a hospital or clinical environment, medical service officers provide world-class medical support for soldiers, their families, and any beneficiaries of the military health system. They operate what may be the most effective logistical system anywhere in the world. During combat operations, the Medical Service Corps maintains the Army's vast wartime medical capabilities and administers its field medical establishment. Medical service officers are also regularly at the forefront of America's global humanitarian efforts. From lieutenant to general, a medical service officer's career alternates between supporting Army operations while deployed and routine support to soldiers and their families at home. Junior medical service officers serve in both operational and clinical environments and are expected to experience a variety of the Corps' functional areas in order to hone their leadership, administrative, and clinical talents. This experience helps them to understand the Army's overall medical establishment. As they approach mid-career, medical service officers select a primary functional area of focus. Many medical service officers also obtain graduate degrees through the long-term health education and training program. This higher education helps deepen their knowledge and develop uniquely qualified administrative, clinic, and scientific expertise that can best enable Army medicine. Medical Service Corps officers possess a special blend of skills, knowledge, and behaviors their unique talents help them to succeed in any mission. Project Manager. Medical service officers routinely determine requirements, develop work processes, delegate responsibilities, and lead their teams to desired outcomes. Project management in the medical service world is paramount. So I literally had to find real estate within the brigade area and build an aid station. Paying attention to all these little details that go into getting all that things together, uh, you have to be able to be great at managing different type of all the different type of tasks that goes with a project. Detail focused. Medical service officers are thorough and perceptive. Their keen attention to detail allows them to meet a broad range of highly sensitive medical responsibilities with precision. Bottom line is. Uh, if you don't pay attention to detail, you know, soldiers can die. Everything that supports patient care is under my purview. Um, so you have to be, de you have to be in the details. You have to know what's going on and you have to have processes in place to track everything and make sure everything's taken care of. And with people's health information, it's, it's extremely critical to uh, pay attention to detail, be precise, um, and kind of have that keen eye that you mentioned to, to make sure that you, you are really doing the right thing more so by the patient than anybody else. Communicator. Medical service officers are precise, efficient, and compelling communicators within their organizations and with their patients. It's very important that you are able to communicate what it is you're telling your commanders and um, your team because there's no other medical officer but yourself. And you need to be able to communicate the uh, health service support plan uh, to that senior leader in order that they have confidence that you're going to uh, take care of his or her soldiers. If you cannot intelligently and effectively communicate, 
people aren't going to listen, even if what you're saying is the truth. Interdisciplinary. Medical service officers integrate expert knowledge from multiple disciplines to develop a more complete perspective, enabling them to solve complex problems. It's equally, if not more important, that um, you have working knowledge of the combat arms, the combat support, combat service support branches, because uh, as much as you rely on them for their knowledge, they're going to rely on you for your knowledge. You're not the clinical expert, but you understand what the clinical experts need. So I wore three different hats with a lot of different disciplines I had to jump from. Interpersonal. Medical service officers are skilled in connecting with both soldiers and civilians to gain a clear understanding of any situation and deliver desired outcomes. A medical service corps officer has to have good interpersonal skills. It's really a customer service function. You're taking care of customers. So you, you have to be able to understand people's feeling, put yourself, get out of your box, and be able to understand people's feeling and, and the fact of what they could be going through. I went to school at James Madison University. Graduated from St. Lawrence University. I went to school at the Citadel. I actually applied for a direct commission after getting my bachelor's degree and uh, my medical technology license. Health sciences with a concentration in public health education. It's the uh, wide variety of opportunity that excites me most about the Medical Service Corps. I mean, my first job was a medical platoon leader for uh, a light infantry battalion in Korea on the DMZ. I served as a, a uh, uh, aeromedical evacuation officer in my initial assignment. I started as an uh, executive officer uh, where I, we actually stood up a, a BSD, a blood service de detachment actually. Medical information management. I'm a medical lo logistician. Medical plans and operations. I really enjoy PAD, patient administration, which is what I'm currently doing. The Medical Service Corps are the administrators. We're the folks behind the scenes who make it happen for the, the clinicians, the physicians, the surgeons, the nurses. We make it possible for them to do their mission. You are supporting the doctors and the nurses, or you're, um, you know, running the battalion aid station in a tactical environment. Um, but you're kind of, you're kind of the glue that holds everything together. Even at a, a fairly junior level, you get to work with uh, civilian employees uh, more than the rest of the army. We provide a service to the line units, to the combat arms teams to the patients in the hospitals. That's what we do. Literally touching upon almost every component of other branches. As an MSC, it's important that you straddle both of the, the MTO and the TDA lanes. And for me, it's really opened my eyes. The MSC is such an awesome core. The Medical Service Corps is going to provide you with the opportunity to take your career to another level. If you are a person that has a lot of initiative and a lot of passion for the job, then you are ready to be a medical service co officer. I support the provision of life-saving care. To really see the impact and the fact that what you are doing has a huge purpose and you are, you are literally saving lives, you are making a difference. The reasons an uh, American soldier fights the way an American soldier fights uh, is because uh, they know that when they're uh, injured or wounded on the battlefield that they're gonna be taken care of by the best uh, healthcare system any military force has in the world.